Hi everyone and welcome to the Sunpulse channel, your go-to source for valuable marketing tips. I'm your host Anya and today I'd like to discuss a few marketing strategies that have been collecting dust for way too long. Don't get me wrong, they might have worked in the past, but marketing is just not a place to be old-fashioned. If you don't keep up with the latest trends, you are basically throwing your money away. So join me as I explore the three marketing techniques you should give up today. Let's not beat around the bush and jump right into the first method you should forget about. And it's buying contact lists. Just think about it. Are you not tired of the constant influx of never-ending advertisements? It's one thing when it's a business you previously interacted with, but what if that's something you've never heard of before? And suddenly they are spamming your inbox and expecting you to spend your hundred money on their website. You'd click mark as spam, wouldn't you? And that's what the majority of your bot and engaged audience will do. The same goes for buying likes, followers, reviews, and anything along those lines. While it might seem tempting when you're just starting out, it just won't do any good for your business in the long run. Besides, reaching out to people without their consent has been illegal in the European Union since 2016, according to the General Data Protection Regulation. Not to mention that no reputable email marketing software will allow you to send campaigns to users without their consent, and email services like Gmail will mark the majority of your emails as spam before people get to see them. So just drop it before it tarnishes your reputation with email service providers, social media algorithms, and most importantly, people. Next up, you are definitely missing out if you are only creating promotional content. So when visitors come across your blog, social media or email newsletter, what do they see? Are there any useful guides, tutorials, engaging posts or free webinars? Is there something that's in need for them? Or they are just ads upon ads of your sales, discounts and new product launches? I get it, you want to meet your sales goals. We all do, and content marketing definitely is a fantastic way to achieve that. However, it only works in moderation. In fact, 60% of people reported that they get annoyed if the brand they follow posts too much promotional content. If you treat your content as an outlet to educate, engage and connect with your audience on a personal level, while tastefully sprinkling in your promotions, you'll be better off in every kind of way. It's only by providing value for your audience that you can establish your reputation as a brand, build trust and loyalty, and even encourage some word-of-mouth promotion. I highly recommend you watch this video to find some ideas on engaging your online audience. Now, let's move on to the next outdated strategy on our list. It's producing generic content that lacks personalization. See, with TV advertisements, billboards and paper brochures, marketers couldn't possibly target specific demographics with their unique set of pain points. All they were left with was a one-size-fits-all message that was supposed to resonate with all people at once. But digital marketing rose to prominence for a reason. It provides such level of personalization no traditional marketing channel ever could. Unfortunately, many businesses seem to forget about it and go right back to basics, throwing generic marketing message out there and hoping it sticks. Nowadays, people expect it to feel like you're speaking directly to them, that you know exactly what their problem is and have a solution right on hand at the exact moment they need it. So by not using the targeting tools digital marketing has to offer, you are basically committing a crime toward your business. Statistically speaking, companies that excel at personalization can increase their revenue by a whopping 40%. While it may require a bit more effort, it's definitely possible if you collect, analyze and leverage user data to create more personalized relevant content. It may include special deals based on user browsing behavior or previous purchases, highly targeted campaigns with personalized recommendations or relevant educational content, or anything along those lines. With samples as Automation 360, you will no longer have to worry about your content being too generic. From just one comprehensive platform, you can leverage user data to deliver highly personalized relevant messages at the perfect time across eight marketing channels. Set data-driven triggers once and let the system take over lead generation, custom onboarding, lead nurturing, order confirmations and even customer re-engagement. Give St. Pulse's Automation 360 a try and guide them through your sales funnel with little to no involvement from your end. Now let's move on to the last outdated strategy on our list. It's prioritizing quality over quantity. 
Don't get me wrong, consistency is definitely key for content. It's a fantastic way to build trust with your audience, establish your credibility in the industry, and gather a loyal follower base. Besides, social media and search engine algorithms also love consistent creators. However, the more the better rule simply doesn't apply here. The sheer amount of content being created nowadays inevitably increases the competition and, as a result, people's expectations. Here's a shocking number for you. 90% of web pages get zero organic traffic from Google. See, your target audience doesn't have the time or the attention span to engage with all the content they see. There must be something valuable and outstanding about your content to make people stay. Otherwise, they will turn to your competitors. So, instead of producing the absolute maximum amount of content, you should create as many valuable pieces as possible without sacrificing its quality. And that's it for today. Thank you for tuning in. There are many more outdated marketing strategies I could share with you, so please let me know if you'd like to see a part 2. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell to keep up with our uploads. Have an awesome day and see you in the next video. Bye-bye!